Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom. We've been walking through the book of Proverbs together, but for the next four weeks, if you're not watching this in order, it won't apply to you, but if you're following these week by week, for the next four weeks, it's actually December, and we're gonna be walking through Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, kind of one key insight from the Christmas story in each of the four Gospels. So today we're gonna actually start at the end of the four Gospels, starting the Gospel of John, and I wanna ask you to listen to these words from John chapter one, we're going to look at, at three different little portions of the passage and then just think about this Christmas season as hopefully your heart's getting ready to celebrate Christmas. So listen to these words from John chapter 1. Verses 1 through 3 says this, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. That's talking about Jesus, the living Word of God. He was with God in the beginning. Through Him all things were made, and without Him, without Jesus, nothing was made that has been made. Then if we jump down to verses 9 and 10, we read this. The true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. Jesus Christ is the word, and also he's the light of the world, even when we don't see it and recognize it. And then in verse 14, a passage rich with theology. Verse 14 says, The word became flesh and made his dwelling among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only Son, who came from the Father full of grace and truth. I would suggest that Christmas is ultimately about grace and truth. More than eggnog, it's grace and truth. More than presents, it's grace and truth. More than family time together, it's grace and truth. In the incarnation, and this is, this is John's incarnation story. This is his Christmas story. In John, there's no camels, there's no wise men, there's no star, there's no mention of Bethlehem. It's just in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Jesus then came, took on flesh, and came among us. And so, just a couple thoughts about Christmas from the Gospel of John's telling of the story. First, Jesus is the Word of God. He is eternal. He's Creator. Jesus is divine. And John makes that absolutely clear. When, when John begins his gospel, it sounds a lot like Genesis chapter 1, in the beginning. And anyone listening in the ancient world would have recognized this is a new beginning story, and the creator is Jesus. Remember that. Jesus is the light, but some people didn't get it. Some people didn't see the light of Jesus. He was the light then, he still is now, even if we don't see it and recognize it. Jesus came as God in human flesh. John chapter 14, and the Word became flesh and made His dwelling among us. And we have seen His glory, the glory of the only Son, sent by the Father, full of grace and truth. And so Jesus, that's, that's the incarnation, that's the Christmas story. And then Jesus came with grace and with truth. I believe those two go together, and I actually believe they're put in order for a reason. Grace first, and then truth. Grace first, and then truth. And we're called, his followers are called, to live in grace and in truth. Here's my question for you this Christmas season. When someone encounters you, is there no question about the grace, the tenderness, the kindness you bring? And is there no question about the truth you hold to with deep conviction? You may not agree with other people. You can love them where they're at, but you know where you stand and other people do as well. I was thinking about this and thinking, who's a person who's impacted my life filled with grace and truth? And I thought of Warren Burgess. He passed away at 91 years old a few years ago. But Warren, any situation you were in, he always led with grace. He was a man filled with the grace of Jesus. But you never questioned what he believed. You knew where he stood, you knew what he believed. Warren was a man full of grace and truth because Jesus, who was his Lord, came with grace and truth. And my prayer for you, and I hope your prayer for yourself this Christmas season, is that in every situation you walk into, you walk into it with both grace and truth in that order. Lord Jesus, this is our prayer. As we kick off this December season, as we think about the Christmas season, let us enjoy family and gifts and good food, but most of all, let us recognize that Jesus, when you entered this world, you came with grace and you came in the truth. May we live like you lived in this world. We pray in your name, Jesus. Amen. Well, Merry Christmas December to you. God's blessings on you. Enjoy the rest of your day.